the small Hampshire town of Allsford has been named one of Britain's most expensive market towns to live in. A report published by Halifax ranked it third with an average house price of over 500,000, 200,000 and more than the average price in Southampton. These statistics paired with the already vacant offices behind me reiterate the concerns that Southampton residents have when talking about the property market. With 74% of students saying they'd like to own their first house within the first 10 years of leaving university, however 60% of these said that the increase in price in housing has put this into doubt. Councillor Warwick Payne has said that there's no need to worry about this situation as the council have programmes in place to help young people. Now in Southampton we're trying to make sure that we provide accommodation for all people, so whether it's young or old, and making sure that we've got at least properties that are available for people to buy and certainly that makes it easier for people to buy in Southampton than most other places in Hampshire. I spoke to Paul Edge Hellier, a local landlord who has a lot of property experience in Hampshire. He is confident that housing prices won't fall despite the obstacle Britain is about to face. I think with Brexit the general feeling is house prices may drop because of the general turmoil it's going to cause. But generally speaking, I feel that there are too many people in this island and there is too much pressure on housing, so we, it will always remain buoyant. Southampton's population will continue to grow and more houses will be built to accommodate this. But the real question is, how many of these will be affordable for the newly graduated students? This has been Tommy Corlito reporting for Solent News.